What's up guys? Welcome back to another Walking Dead Seen the Sinners Aftershocks. So right now what we're doing right now is trying to get all the puzzle pieces. So I'm doing a little research online and they said that um, it have codes in all the areas except Old Town. So now for me to do this it will be a very long video but what I'll do is just like cut till I reach it by the code is. I'll put it in the script, I'll put it in the video where it actually located. So the first one is actually the first one would have been in Boston in JB's room when he went to do the um, the last mission. But um, we didn't really explore JB the duplex. We were more into the house with the hidden base underneath the monster layer, as they call it. But anyway, so here has uh, so this is the jazz park in the cemetery where the guys we were chasing down who stole our stuff. Right in the back here, if you look on the ground, you see an arrow. And then on the truck, there's the first puzzle piece there. Alright, so off we go to the first one. Then you go to Shallows and yeah, you go just hit all the areas to get the rest of the codes. So stay tuned. Several days later. Woo! Alright. Hey Georgia, guess what? We get all the codes. <laughs> we can't solve this thing now. Alright people. We just finally got all the codes. That was kinda yeah, that was a good mission. <laughs> Alright, so what I needed help to solve this because um what what happened is I put the code you then gimp all together and it still wasn't making any sense. So when I did a little search on YouTube, there was a guy who already solved it and he showed you how he actually solved it. So what I will do, I will splice his video of actually solving the code at the end of this video. But right after, right after here. So thank you guys for tuning in and um, stay tuned for more Walking Dead Sin and Sinners Aftershocks because I hear it has some more stuff coming. This game, I don't know when they're going to release it, but it's coming. So stay tuned guys and have a good one. And remember... Covid still around, so wear your mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and most important, stay safe. Thank you guys for watching, Cricks out. Well, we've collected all the puzzle pieces and we've put them together and the mystery's been solved. The puzzle is of Disco Broccoli character AJ's plushie from the Walking Dead game by Telltale. Now around Disco Broccoli here we've got some cipher text. Now I've transcribed it down here in the order that it should be in order to be properly decrypted and you can see it lines up with the puzzle pieces RVDA, RL, AUQ, etc etc from left to right top to bottom. Now it's encrypted using the visionaire method. Apologies for the pronunciation. Now this method is similar to just shifting the alphabet a certain number of characters and then swapping those in, but it relies on a key. 
Now what you do is you write out the encrypted text and then you write out the key, say beneath it, and repeat it as many times as you need to to make up for the length of the encrypted text. So you can see I've done that here. So we have the encrypted text on top and then I've repeated the key which is disco. I tried Walking Dead, Saints, Sinners, it's Disco Broccoli, so I gave Disco a shot and it turns out Disco is the key. So now to actually do the decryption of this message, you need a table like the one seen here with the alphabet along the top, the alphabet along the side, and then the alphabet on each row but shifted. You can see here this one starts with A, B, C, D all the way through. Second line starts with B all the way through and then ends with A. So you can see it's being shifted by one character for each letter in the alphabet. Now to decrypt the message, what we want to do is take the character from the key, which is D, and let me grab my annotation tool here, and we look that up on the side here. So D. Then we go along this row until we find the encrypted character, which is R. And then we go up and we'll find the unencrypted character or the decrypted character, which is O. So we can go down here and we can say that the first letter is O. Then we're going to go to the next character, which is I. So we go back to our table, we go to I, and then we go across to V. Where is V? Just here. And then we go up and we find that the unencrypted letter is N. So we go back down here and put an N. Then we go on to the next one, which is S. We find S. And then we go across to D. And then up, which is L. And we can proceed this way through the whole cipher. Let's just do one more letter so that we get the first word, which is C. And then we go over to A. can see the first word is only. So if you proceed through the entire cipher, and you can see we end up with half of the key at the end and that's fine. You will get the entire decoded message, which is only Disco Broccoli knows the future of this story. So if you're looking for answers, best be looking for Disco Broccoli. Now, I can't take credit for figuring out uh, the encryption method here. That goes to Smee is Me, who I believe was the first to officially uh, decode this Easter egg.